I published 200 articles using the keyword golden ratio, and I'm gonna tell you what happened. My name is Doug Cunnington. I'm the founder of Niche Site Project, and I also made up the keyword golden ratio. I've been testing it for a few years, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. On my channel, I normally talk about Amazon affiliate marketing, productivity, and project management. If it's your first time here, have a look around. If you like it, subscribe. I published these 200 articles that were keyword golden ratio compliant. KGR is what I'll just say. So the KGR is a data-driven way to find keywords that are underserved on the internet. Basically, it's the supply and demand of keywords. So you could find these keywords where essentially you could publish content on your niche site and it'll rank without backlinks. Backlinks are sort of tricky. A lot of people hate building backlinks. They don't understand how to build backlinks and it's a struggle to build backlinks. So the fact that you could publish content without building backlinks and have it rank and make money, well, that's huge. The other part is if you're gonna publish 200 articles, it's really hard to build backlinks to like all those posts. So the fact that I didn't have to build backlinks made it possible. Otherwise, it would be like an unmanageable mess publishing all this content and then having to figure out how to build backlinks to it. By the way, it was mostly affiliate content reviews, which are a little more difficult to get backlinks to like a piece of affiliate content because you know, if you write a guest post for someone, they don't really want to link to your affiliate content. So what happened after I published all this content? Well, traffic went up and revenue went up. In fact, I could tell you that in January of 2016, the revenue for this particular site was about $100. Not much. I mean, it's nice to make a hundred bucks on a website passively, but at that point, it wasn't really ROI positive. I started uh, getting a little bit more traffic and a few more backlinks here and there, but it really wasn't you know, going through the roof or anything like that. So in May and June of 2016, I decided I was gonna publish a lot of content. So I found about 200 keyword golden ratio phrases and started hiring writers. Now the thing is, if you're going to build a team, you must do it slowly. You have to hire someone and then train them and make sure they're good before you hire more people. Even if you have like an unlimited budget and unlimited time, you would still have trouble hiring say five writers all at once and then trying to get them to do all this work. The reason why is they will have questions about the process. They may need to tweak some of their writing or the way they're formatting it. And let's say you hire five writers and each person asks you one question each day, five days a week. That's a lot of questions. That is a lot of emails going back and forth. So even if you have unlimited time and unlimited money, it's gonna be frustrating. And basically whenever you hire people, whenever you outsource a job, it's gonna go a little slower at first until everyone is communicating properly, everyone is trained, and it just takes a day or two, or maybe a week, depending on how quickly they're working, to get trained and then move forward. The key thing, right, is to grow slow. So I hired one writer at first, and then we worked together for about a week. She wrote a couple articles for me. Then the following week, I hired a couple more writers and trained them. Now, each time I hired new people, I was improving my process, right? So when I worked the first week with the first writer, I knew the common questions that, that writers would have. I learned there were gaps in my process, gaps in my documentation, so I needed to improve that. So when I hired the other two writers, there were fewer questions and I could anticipate what questions they may ask and tell them beforehand. So everything got a little better, everything got a little bit faster. After I hired a few more people, a few more writers, like two more, I had five total, I realized that I was the bottleneck and I needed to hire someone to take the written content, draft it into WordPress, right? So that was taking me a long time. So I hired an editor slash content manager. She would edit the grammar and the article in general, and then she would also format it in WordPress. She'd move it over to WordPress and do all the subheadings and add images and embed a video, stuff like that. And by the way, if you're interested in getting the task list and basically everything you need to hire 
people to do the same kind of work, check out the link in the description. I'll put a, a link in the card as well. And basically you can download all my content templates and you can hire your own team. There's a job listing that I used in Upwork and it's really everything you need. So if you're interested, be sure to check out the link below. Once I hired this content manager, it saved me like hours. So it would take me like an hour to do the editing and formatting and uploading and all that stuff. But after I hired someone, it would take me like three minutes to double check their work. Now I had to give them a, a WordPress login, but you don't make them an admin or anything like that. You just make them an editor or maybe an author, right? So go check out the different roles that a person can have in WordPress, figure out what's right for you. I made the person an editor, but double check on your own and make sure it's right for you. So they would draft the content and essentially I would just log on, check out the drafts, take a quick look, make sure the affiliate links were proper, and then I would hit publish. And it would take me like three minutes instead of like 93 minutes. It was amazing and I saved so much time. As the team got trained and everyone knew what their role was, I was able to go to the writers and say, hey, you know, you're only doing two articles per week right now. Do you wanna do five articles per week? Let me know. And a lot of times they would, they wanna work with one person instead of like five or six people, right? They don't wanna keep getting one-off jobs. If they like working with you, well, sure, they will stick with you for a long time. After everyone knew what they were supposed to do and we were communicating well, I just asked the writers if they wanted to write more, and they did. So I upped it and they were writing quite a bit. Now, I mentioned I'm growing slowly, so I could tell you the first month, I think I only published like 10 new posts, right? But the second month it was like 25. And then the third month I published like 65. So once I had the system down, I knew that I could publish way more. And again, even if you have unlimited resources, unlimited money, it's a little difficult working with a team, especially a team that is not located in the same place. You're typically just using email or texting back and or chatting back and forth for your communication. So keep that in mind. It takes a little work to build a team and the communications are really important. You need to make sure you have that down before you start scaling up. So what happened? I'm taking a lot of time telling you how I did it. Basically, the site made about 100 bucks in January 2016. By December of 2016, the site made $15,000 or just short of that. It was like 14, 893 or something like that. So the value of the site increased by a huge amount if you take the average monthly earnings and, and the profit and, and all that stuff into account, you know, the value of the site went up by like $130,000 or something like that. Now you may be thinking, Doug, that sounds expensive. If you're hiring these writers, you're publishing 200 articles and so on and so forth. You're right, it costs about $4,000. I spent $3,200 on the content, paying you know, writers to do the writing. So. $3,200. For the content management role, I spent about $800. So I published 200 articles and it cost about $800 for the editors and stuff to draft it. That's it, right? So you can see the value of the site. Like I just mentioned, it went up by over $130,000. Aside from the time, the monetary investment was about $4,000. If you're thinking, hey, Doug, I don't have the money to invest. Well, you can just reinvest the profits. As I mentioned, the site was making about $100 per month in January. It was slowly growing. so. I think by June or so I was making $1,000 a month. And as I mentioned, I was growing slowly. So you could just reinvest the profits back into the business via content. And then as the, the site grows more, you can continue to reinvest. So for me, I never laid out additional revenue, right? I never laid out additional capital to invest into the content, I merely reinvested. So I definitely took a slow approach. What you know, for one reason, it's a great case study, right, to show reinvestment and the value you can get out of it. And at the time, I wasn't super confident in the keyword golden ratio yet. Let me know in the comments if you've used the keyword golden ratio, by the way. But I hear that people are using the keyword golden ratio and they're making hundreds of dollars per month with a young site or multiple thousand dollars per month 
on a fairly young site just by using the keyword golden ratio. It's that powerful. So at the time in 2016, I was testing it out. It was starting to kind of work, but at this point, I'm fully confident. I've seen it work on multiple sites of my own really well, and then I've seen it on a lot of other people's sites too. So if you have any questions about scaling content or anything like that, let me know in the comments. And the question of the day is, have you scaled content like this? Have you published you know, over 100 articles? And if so, what happened? Was it worthwhile? Were you able to get a positive ROI? And yeah, just tell us about it below. Again, I'm Doug Cunnington. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Don't forget, you can get all the templates that I use. You know, I don't hold anything back. So just check out the description below or click the link and you'll be able to get those templates. Thanks.